Welcome back to Tech Convergence, where we explore the fascinating intersections of today's most revolutionary technologies. This is Click Future, and in our previous episodes, we've explored sentient machines, the quantum internet, brain-computer interfaces, digital twins, the new space race, and fusion energy. Today, we're diving into perhaps the most surprising quantum frontier, quantum biology. For decades, we've thought of quantum effects as fragile phenomena that could only exist in carefully controlled laboratory conditions, near absolute zero temperatures and in perfect isolation. Yet mounting evidence suggests that the weird and counterintuitive properties of quantum mechanics may play crucial roles in biological processes that have evolved over billions of years. From photosynthesis to bird navigation, from our sense of smell to the mutations that drive evolution, researchers are discovering quantum fingerprints throughout the living world. This emerging field of quantum biology is not only transforming our understanding of life, but also inspiring new technologies in medicine, energy, and computing. In this episode, we'll explore the growing evidence for quantum effects in biological systems, examine how life may have evolved to harness quantum phenomena, consider how quantum biology is inspiring new technologies, and contemplate the profound implications for our understanding of life itself. Let's begin with one of the most fundamental processes on our planet, photosynthesis the mechanism by which plants, algae, and certain bacteria convert sunlight into chemical energy. This process powers most of the biosphere and produces the oxygen we breathe. At the heart of photosynthesis is an astonishingly efficient energy transfer process. When a photon of sunlight is absorbed by a chlorophyll molecule, the resulting excitation energy must find its way to a reaction center where it can be converted into chemical energy. This journey involves navigating through a complex protein scaffold with many possible pathways. Classically, we would expect this energy to follow a random walk, testing various paths until it eventually reaches its destination. Such a process would be relatively slow and inefficient. Yet, photosynthetic organisms routinely achieve energy transfer efficiencies exceeding 95%, far higher than our best solar cells. In 2007, researchers at UC Berkeley made a startling discovery. Using sophisticated spectroscopy techniques, they observed evidence of quantum coherence in photosynthetic complexes. Quantum coherence allows energy to exist in multiple states simultaneously and explore all possible pathways at once, finding the most efficient route to the reaction center. What makes this particularly remarkable is that these quantum effects persist at room temperature and in the wet, complex environment of a living cell conditions we would expect to destroy quantum coherence almost instantly. Dr. Alexandra Olea Castro, a quantum biology researcher at University College London, explains, What we're discovering is that photosynthetic organisms may have evolved to protect and even exploit quantum effects. The protein structures surrounding these light-harvesting complexes seem to shield the quantum coherence from environmental disruption, while also tuning it to optimize energy transfer. This discovery has profound implications for artificial photosynthesis and solar energy technology. By understanding how nature harnesses quantum effects, we may be able to design more efficient solar cells and energy storage systems. Several research groups are already developing bio-inspired quantum solar technologies that mimic these natural processes. Another fascinating example of quantum biology is found in the remarkable navigational abilities of certain birds. European robins and other migratory species can sense Earth's magnetic field for navigation, an ability known as magnetoreception. But how do they detect something as subtle as Earth's magnetic field? The leading explanation involves a protein called cryptochrome found in the bird's retinas. When blue light strikes this protein, it creates a pair of quantum entangled electrons that are sensitive to magnetic fields. This process, known as the radical pair mechanism, works like this. Light excites an electron in the cryptochrome, which then transfers to another molecule, creating two radicals, each with an unpaired electron. These electrons maintain quantum entanglement despite being separated, and their spin states are influenced by Earth's magnetic field. The resulting chemical reactions differ depending on the orientation of the bird relative to Earth's magnetic field, effectively giving the bird a quantum compass. This theory was strengthened when researchers found that very weak radio frequencies, which can disrupt quantum entanglement, interfered with birds' navigational abilities. Birds aren't the only creatures that may use quantum effects for navigation. 
Similar mechanisms have been proposed for sea turtles, salmon, and even some insects. There's also evidence that certain bacteria orient themselves using magnetic particles that may exploit quantum properties. Dr. Heinrich Moritzen, who studies bird migration at the University of Oldenburg, notes, What's remarkable is that these birds are essentially seeing quantum effects. Their visual system appears to be processing quantum information and translating it into a usable signal for navigation. It's a biological quantum sensor that evolved naturally. This biological quantum sensing is inspiring a new generation of ultra-sensitive magnetic field detectors. Researchers at the University of Oxford are developing quantum sensors based on the radical pair mechanism that could be used in navigation systems, medical imaging, and geological surveys. Beyond photosynthesis and navigation, quantum effects may play roles in several other biological processes. One intriguing example is our sense of smell or olfaction. The conventional lock and key model of smell suggests that odorant molecules fit into receptors based on their shape. However, this doesn't fully explain why molecules with identical shapes can smell different, while differently shaped molecules can smell the same. In 1996, Luca Turin proposed a controversial alternative, the vibrational theory of olfaction. According to this theory, when an odorant molecule binds to a receptor, electrons in the receptor can tunnel through the molecule, a quantum mechanical process, if the vibrational energy of the molecule matches the energy gap in the receptor. Different molecular vibrations would trigger different receptors, creating distinct smell perceptions. While still controversial, this theory has gained support from experiments showing that fruit flies can distinguish between molecules with different vibrations but identical shapes. Human studies have shown similar results with molecules containing different hydrogen isotopes, which have identical shapes but different vibrations. Enzymes, the catalysts that facilitate biochemical reactions, may also exploit quantum effects. Classical models struggle to explain the extraordinary efficiency of many enzymes. Some researchers propose that quantum tunneling allows hydrogen atoms and even protons to pass through energy barriers rather than over them, dramatically accelerating reactions. Even DNA mutation, the driving force of evolution, may involve quantum processes. When DNA replicates, protons can quantum tunnel between paired bases, temporarily creating rare tautomeric forms that can lead to mismatches and mutations. This quantum mechanism was actually proposed by quantum physics pioneer Erwin Schrödinger in his influential 1944 book, What is Life? Dr. John Joe McFadden, a molecular geneticist and quantum biology pioneer, explains. What we're finding is that life doesn't just tolerate quantum effects. In many cases, it seems to have evolved to exploit them. Quantum mechanics may be weird from our macroscopic perspective, but at the molecular scale where biology operates, quantum effects are unavoidable and potentially useful. Research in these areas is still developing, with some theories more established than others. Photosynthetic quantum coherence and avian magnetoreception have substantial experimental support while quantum theories of olfaction and enzyme action remain more controversial. What's clear is that the boundary between quantum physics and biology is far more porous than previously thought. A fascinating question emerges from these discoveries. How did biological systems evolve to harness quantum effects that seem so fragile and counterintuitive? In laboratory settings, quantum coherence typically survives for only tiny fractions of a second before environmental noise causes decoherence. Yet, in photosynthetic complexes, coherence persists much longer, long enough to be biologically useful. The answer may lie in the remarkable structures of biological molecules. Proteins can create protected environments that shield quantum processes from disruption while also tuning them for specific functions. These structures didn't appear by chance, but evolved through natural selection. Dr. Susana Huelga, a quantum physicist at Ulm University, explains, if a quantum effect provides even a small advantage in a critical process like photosynthesis or DNA replication, natural selection would favor it. Over billions of years, organisms could evolve increasingly sophisticated mechanisms to protect and exploit these quantum advantages. Counterintuitively, some biological systems may actually use environmental noise to enhance quantum effects rather than destroy them. This phenomenon, called environment-assisted quantum transport, has been observed in photosynthetic complexes. The right amount of noise can prevent energy from getting trapped in local minima and help it find optimal pathways. Some researchers propose that certain biological systems may have evolved to operate near quantum critical points, 
boundary conditions between classical and quantum behavior where the system can access advantages of both regimes. This could allow organisms to switch between quantum and classical modes depending on environmental conditions. The quantum nature of biology may even have played a role in life's origins. Recent theories suggest that quantum effects could have helped catalyze the formation of the first self-replicating molecules. The ability to harness quantum phenomena might be not just a feature of advanced organisms, but fundamental to life itself. Dr. Matthew Fisher, a quantum physicist at UC Santa Barbara, has proposed that quantum entanglement between phosphorus nuclei could enable quantum processing in the brain. Life may have been quantum mechanical from the very beginning. The question isn't whether quantum mechanics plays a role in biology. It must, given the scales involved. The question is whether life has evolved to exploit uniquely quantum mechanical effects like coherence and entanglement for functional advantages. The discoveries of quantum biology aren't just transforming our understanding of life, they're inspiring a new generation of technologies that mimic nature's quantum tricks. In energy technology, researchers are developing artificial photosynthetic systems that exploit quantum coherence for more efficient solar energy capture. These bio-inspired solar cells aim to replicate the near-perfect energy transfer efficiency of natural photosynthesis, potentially revolutionizing renewable energy. In navigation, the radical pair mechanism used by migratory birds is inspiring development of magnetic sensors that don't rely on GPS. Such quantum compasses could provide navigation in environments where GPS fails, such as underwater, in urban canyons, or during solar storms. In medicine, understanding how enzymes use quantum tunneling could lead to better drug design. By incorporating quantum mechanical models into pharmaceutical development, Researchers hope to create more effective enzyme inhibitors and catalysts. The vibrational theory of olfaction has inspired development of electronic quantum noses that detect molecular vibrations rather than just chemical structures. Such devices could have applications in everything from food safety to disease diagnosis through breath analysis. Perhaps most intriguingly, quantum biology may inform quantum computing. If biological systems have evolved ways to maintain quantum coherence in warm, wet environments, these strategies might help engineers design more robust quantum computers that don't require extreme cooling. Dr. Vlatko Vedral, a quantum physicist at Oxford University, explains, Nature has had billions of years to solve problems that quantum engineers are just beginning to tackle. How do you maintain quantum coherence in complex environments? How do you harness environmental noise rather than just fighting against it? Biology may have already evolved solutions to these challenges. Looking forward, quantum biology research is expanding in several exciting directions. 1. Quantum neuroscience – investigating whether quantum effects play roles in brain function and consciousness. 2. Quantum metabolism – exploring how quantum tunneling might influence metabolic processes. 3. Quantum genetics – studying how quantum effects might influence genetic mutations and evolution. 4. Synthetic quantum biology – engineering biological systems to enhance or exploit quantum effects. Significant challenges remain. Detecting quantum effects in living systems requires extremely sensitive measurements. Distinguishing genuine quantum effects from classical processes that mimic them is difficult, and translating biological quantum mechanisms into practical technologies requires bridging the gap between physics and biology, disciplines with different approaches and languages. Despite these challenges, the field is advancing rapidly, with new experimental techniques and theoretical frameworks continually emerging. As Dr. Thorsten Ritz, a pioneer in quantum biology, puts it, we're just beginning to appreciate how quantum the living world really is. Quantum biology represents a profound shift in our understanding of life. Far from being irrelevant to biology, the strange and counterintuitive properties of quantum mechanics appear to be essential to many biological processes that have evolved over billions of years. From the near-perfect efficiency of photosynthesis to the remarkable navigational abilities of migratory birds, from the mysteries of smell to the machinery of enzymes and DNA, quantum effects appear throughout the living world. Life hasn't just adapted to quantum reality. It has harnessed it, protected it, and evolved to exploit it. This convergence of quantum physics and biology is not only transforming our scientific understanding, but also inspiring new technologies that mimic nature's quantum tricks.
By learning how life harnesses quantum effects in warm, wet, complex environments, we may develop better solar cells, more sensitive sensors, more effective medicines, and perhaps even more robust quantum computers. In our next episode, we'll explore another fascinating convergence, quantum machine learning, where quantum computing and artificial intelligence combine to create capabilities beyond either technology alone. Until then, this has been Click Future. If you found this exploration of quantum biology fascinating, please like this video and subscribe to Click Future for more insights at the cutting edge of technology. Share your thoughts in the comments below. Which aspect of quantum biology do you find most surprising or intriguing? And how might these discoveries change our understanding of life itself? Thanks for watching, and remember, your future is a click away.